Hi everyone, it's Robin. Okay, now I have tried to figure out a hundred different ways to teach this, but I didn't know how to do it at this angle, and because I'm only one person, like, it's very difficult. So, I, desi I decided to try it this way and give you guys the idea, and then you guys can run with it. So, if you're inspired, if you do it, please say, Robin Moses inspired. Inspired by Robin Moses. All that stuff. So that we get um, my techniques to girls who don't have a lot of money. I'm starting with these just little fill up uh, pots and um, these. I get, I got these, I got a bulk of them and then my clients give them to me. They're um, Latisse single use disposable applicators. But if you have a bottle of clear polish and you just need the, the wand for it, just take the wand out and use it, okay? And every time that you clean it off with acetone, then you can use it again. That is what I'm using to stir all of these together. And um, I use a, a ton of these. And so, <laughs> actually my clients give them to me because they buy the Latisse and they don't use all the applicators. So here they are. And here's my pots. And I'm gonna fill them with um, clear polish. Now, um, that's what I couldn't do on film before because it's very difficult um, to get it to film because you, you guys can't see from such a small top. But if you fill these with clear polish, and I, and I just buy whatever is the cheapest and the thinnest because I just need a layer. So, so um, I try. I can do all of this for with a dollar pot, bottle polish um, at Wet n Wild. So now I have all the rainbow colors. I want them to be true to their colors. If you're using Dazzle Dry, use a Dazzle Dry top coat. They don't mix. They're different formulas. I did two drops of red, and then, ah, and then I start to blend. This makes a red jelly. So now you have it. Okay, two drops of red, just a little bit um, of the clear, and then I write onto the lid red jelly. Now I will go and wipe my brush, and I will do this the same. And it's so cool to be able to show you, like this is how I mix in bottles but it's difficult to show you like these um the, to the tops i can never i can never like mix them in here because you can't see well so i just do blue blue and and then if it's not jelly enough i will just keep on adding until it is and that is the base of how i make all of my uh, vintage colors for the love letter tutorials and all of that anyways i'm gonna make a rainbow of these and I will meet you back. Okay, so now evil clients here with me. <laughs> and this is all gonna make sense. But anyways, here are the jellies. Now they're mixed. And I do this all the time. This is how you mix colors, like the basic way. And like, so this is, I would put, I would put it inside of this, okay? So I made a, ah, I didn't close it. Draw that. <laughs> Okay, because I'm not used to doing it this way. I made a neon pink, okay? And then here is an old neon pink that I made. And it goes out of the way. Then I take the new neon pink, pour it into the old one. That thins it down, reconstitutes it, and then I can shake it appropriately. But you don't have to have it into the container, but I'm trying to show you that's how I do it. I do, I skip the middleman and do not use this pot, but you guys can see the pot, so it's better. So then I have this, and this is the neon pink that I'm gonna use over um, the neon pink print that you guys asked for to go with Evil Client's nails. Show them your nails right quick. These are the tiger nails, and I'm gonna make one pink and purple. So I will meet you back and that is how you mix jellies. I will tag the end of the video with this tutorial on designs that call for jellies, okay? And I hope you guys learned a lot. These are probably one cent each 
Um, the, 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 these little things that I bought, I think were $5 for 50 or something like that, these little pots. Um, after they seal shut, after this dries them shut, they're hard to get w open again. So um, keep the sides clean if you don't have a lot of money or uh, wipe them out really well with acetone in between mixings. Anyways, I'll meet you back with more. Bye. Okay, so <laughs> Evil Client has a big long stiletto nail on, but we're going to, I said, okay, we didn't, we, we made the jellies, but we didn't show them, so I'm gonna show them. So, if it was on a clear nail, of course, it would look different. But there it is, the jelly just on there. Now I'm gonna wipe it, go into orange, That. And of course, your application is everything. I don't like there to be no um, lines. I don't like that. I like it to look like there is a differential between the two, so it looks more hand painted. And I can always go over and add more so that it looks more jelly. But um, you only get one shot, kind of, because as soon as it dries, you have to do another layer. So. You, you just wipe and then when you start going into different colors like greens and blues you can just uh, wipe it really well or take acetone and clean your brush every three or four colors just clean it out that'll make sure that it doesn't cross contaminate and blue pretty pretty evil client <laughs> I feel like you're gonna stab me okay <laughs> And if I wore nails this long, I would stab myself. Yeah, <laughs> of course you would. That's why we don't have them. Nobody in real life has them. I don't oh, they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do, but I don't know how they do it. <laughs> they do. Okay, I'm going to put... They some, can't do anything. I used all my neon pink and put it back in the bottle, but I'm going to stop right there with some neon pink. It's like... Here, let me open up that bottle. What? These are fun. Come on, evil client. They okay. are, but I mean, really? Could you see me doing that? I would poke no, an eyeball out. I can't out. see you, but I see some girls that do it so good. But how do they do it? I don't know. I am not there to question them. I'm only here to question myself. <laughs> there's that, and there's this. Okay, so you just start putting on that. And yellow. And you can see how they just jelly into each other. And that's how jellies are made. I mean, that's how I've made them for since the beginning of my career. And it's how you make a light color or a light version of a color you love. Um, back in the old days, I don't know if this is a discontinued color, but Essie had one called Jam and Jelly. And I don't know if that's where jelly comes from, but Jam and Jelly was one of the most popular sellers for Essie back then. And um, in order for me to two-tone that color, I would have to add clear. And that's how I started making jellies, was with Jam and Jelly and then Grape Jelly was with Essie. And then it went on to Vamp Essie. And then I would add clear to ballet slippers so it wouldn't be so opaque. Anyways, so that is hopefully something that you guys can like get on and um, do and have fun with. I am going to add some um, some shamrocks to this. Hold on, let me back up so you guys can see the whole thing. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And there is the jelly tutorial in full. I felt like I had to add that. So anyways, see you back with more. These will be in my beginner playlists. Bye. Bye. Remember, this only costs a few cents.